referee really showing the ball. They're pushing and shoving in the middle of the field already. Players being shoved out of the way. No love lost here. The ball is in in the least in the hurling championship final is underway. It's back with Matthew Whelan. Whelan up along the far side. To Peter Scully loses his footing. Picked up over there by Neil File. Turns around, gets a shot in, puts the ball over the bar, the opening score of the game. He was quite in the semi-final, but that's a wonderful score. PJ is a big striker of the ball, he's a confidence player, and Moore Park is his place, and he certainly is uh, producing the goods all year for Boris Kilcotton. 18 points in the semi-final, 14 of those from freeze, one a sideline cut. PJ goes for this one, it's a massive puck, dropping, 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 all the way over the bar. What a strike from PJ Scully inside his own 45 and he nails a long shot of right out onto the middle and PJ will stand over this one. 18 points in the total the last day in the semi-final. Is he going to be the talisman again today? He rises this one, he strikes it, hits it well, hits it very well, hits it all the way over the bar. Playing a sweeper's role, got a challenge as he hit the ball. And Joe Cameron down along the field, after the ball Mark Cavanagh, oh great skill by Cavanagh, has the ball now, goes off, makes a bit of room for himself strikes it in that's a wonderful score for Mark Havana the opening score of the game for a down the Earl after 14 minutes of play Kavanagh who missed too early on then shot a great point from play on the run off his left this one off the right rises it strikes it strikes it cleanly puts it over the bar there's only a fight between the sides and right down the Earl have settled the field for Boris Gilcotton they still lead by three points to two 22 and a half minutes gone in the half and score since the tenth minute of Boris Kilcotton when they led by three points and no score. The opening three scores coming from Neil File and two from PJ Scully. This went well within his compass, PJ. Hits it, no, low, drops in low on the ground, comes back off file, comes back outside to fl- Joe Campion, and Joe Campion puts the ball over the bar. Great finish from Joe Campion. But it looks at it a couple of times. Uh, every point is vital now. Rises this one, strikes it clean, he puts it in, puts it over the bar, and drills it out along the far side of the field. Running out to it there, Ty Dowling. Hasn't been in the game as yet. Turns around this time. Is this to level the game, Ty Dowling? Drops it in, drops it over the bar. That's a wonderful score from the wing half hour. Ball is back with uh, Jack Kelly. Jack Kelly puts uh, down the early on the attack, down to Roddy King. Has the ball in his hand again. He's driven too wide so far. He looks at the target. Roddy King for the lead. Roddy King has the lead. Wonderful score, he's eventually found the target of Ruddy. Operating as a sweeper for most of the game. He's back outside his own semicircle. And he rises the ball, drills it low down the side of the field. Aim for Roddy King. Roddy with the ball in his hand, turns around and strikes it. He has found his mojo as uh, Roddy King knocked that one over the bar. It's a play, still led by four points to two after 23 minutes of play. But the last four scores of the game have been right down the air. Mark Kavanagh, Ty Dowling and two from Roddy King from play. Two specials. PJ takes this one from his own 45. Dropping, dropping, dropping all the way over the bar. Another massive strike of the ball from PJ Scully. He's in form if he gets another freeze. Out into the far side of the field where it's Eri Killeen. Eri Killeen hits one up along the far side. Roddy King runs out to it. Gets a lovely ball up. Turning, twisting. Core two great points late in the opening half. Hits this one in. Roddy King. Ah, oh, it's a great score. Wonderful score from Roddy King and he's on song now. He is on the post mark, Kavanagh. To give his side a three point lead for the first time. Kavanagh rises it, Kavanagh strikes it and puts it over the bar. The free out. St. Rhinos have just won the Offaly Senior Hurling Final coming from behind the beat bar as the ball has been Roddy King. Roddy King turning it twisty with the ball under his left, strikes it in, looking for his four points of the game and he gets it, Roddy King. He's on fire! Out of the gap, but only slightly. Six between the sides, 11 points to five. This to leave it to five. PJ rises the ball, strikes it, strikes it clean. He puts the ball over the bar, PJ Scully. But it's only a point, but every little helps at this stage. Just 11 minutes gone in the second half. Boris Kilcotton trailing by five points into the clouds there. Going high, PJ Scully trying to win the ball. Has in his hand now is uh, Joe Campion. Champions away, gives the ball inside, shot, goal! Aaron Dunphy with a goal! Champion won the ball, gave it inside, did Brayhawk, inside to Aaron Dunphy, and Aaron Dunphy blasts to the back of the net. Hold on by midfielder Conor Kilban. Oh, goalkeeper's out of his line, and knocks it out. Goes still around the square, shot is there, saved by Champion, the fullback. Oh, what looked like a goal chance again. Pulled on by Joe Vettarty, into the clouds. He clears his lines, grabs out of the clouds again. Now we have a game on our hands. 
Danny Fitzpatrick. Oh, that's on the far side of the field. To Neil Foyle. He got the opening score of the game for another one. Over the bar, Neil Foyle. What a wonderful score from the far side of the field. There's a pipe between the sides. Out uh, on the far side of the field. The sun, the, the standish shadow's almost gone across to him. Kavanagh rises it. Kavanagh strikes it and puts it over the bar. It's a two-point game again. Mark Kavanagh. Every point is vital at this stage. He missed four in the opening half. He has missed nothing in the second half. Drills this one in and drills it over the bar. Mark Kavanagh. 13 points to one goal and seven. And lead for that down the air. This for Mark Kavanagh to make it four. Rises the ball. Strikes it, strikes it cleanly this time. Very, very cleanly, Mark Kavanagh. And that's three in a row for Kavanagh. On the sideline. Over on the far side of the field. Danny Fitzpatrick. Danny hits it on inside. Five, picks up the ball, trying to make it way forward. Under the PJ Scully, PJ looks at the post and PJ drills it over. 20 metres out to put uh, five between the sides. Kavanagh drills it in, Kavanagh puts it over the bar, with five between the sides. Needed now for Boris Kilcotton. The ball is back outside. Pick up by Colin Stapleton. Stapleton, it's a high ball inside. Up goes the hands, ball is broken down, pulled on, save inside. Brilliant save again from Damien Madden. Standing over the ball then is Mark Kavanagh. Kavanagh looking at the target inside to give his side a six-point lead. Dropping in, dropping in, Mark Kavanagh. What an excellent score. It brings the total to what? 17 points. 17 points to one goal and eight. So six points between the sides. By Johnny Purcell. Purcell comes away with the ball. Tries to get it out, kicks it along the road, but he's intercepted. Shot over the bar. Coming in from Danny Fitzpatrick. Too little, too late, Henda. I'm afraid so, Jack, and that's the way the game is transpired. Very, very good performance throughout. Three minutes of additional time have elapsed then. Winning the ball on the far side of the field is Mark Kavanagh. He's gone flying away. He's heading to the corner flag. Just hold up play on the far side of the field. It's all over! It's all over and right down the early the chance again. 17 points to one goal and nine. The scoreboard tells the story. There's no question about that. 17 scores to 10. It was only the goal in the second half and that goal from Aaron Dunphy that really kept the first to cotton in the game. Yeah,